Oh, so Camilla the one that bust her ass. And that they're talking about some help me, help me. I thought that was somebody else. My fault. I will get ready to say, now who this then bust their ass? Okay, so I went to team support and now they arguing. Talking about this function of a team. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Tony and Camilla. So the big mouth that taking Camilla's space this season, Ashley, I think her name is, if, I, if we win, you going. Are you the one girl? You talking a whole lot of this. But honey, you better hope you win this channel. While you talking about you when you win it. Okay, boo boo. What goes around comes around. You talking all this goddamn shit now all of a damn sudden. But that let's just say when the tables get turned on your ass, don't cry for no sympathy, Joanna. Cause it ain't gonna be none to give. Oh, and as soon as she opened her big ass mouth and it was time for her to perform, look who fell in the water. Nelson up there all by himself and she didn't fail her ass in the water. See, that's why I don't pay to have a big ass mouth. See what happens when that mouth overweigh that body and now you can't even must jump high enough to grab to the party and bust your ass in the water. Nani. Girl, what was that? I'm confused and I don't wanna know what the fuck girl what was that? You didn't start to, you didn't fail your ass on that thing and then bother about trying to get back on the bar. You didn't sit there in this wait for what? A miracle for the bar to come back around there before you can jump on it again. Is it just me or does this seem like an impossible damn challenge to do? Unless you got patience and got patience to deal with it. And or a good partner to actually finish this damn thing. I just look I'm not looking at everybody doing it. Yeah, this looks like a, one of those impossible channels that they try the, the people that do the shunts do the things before the people actually do it. Look like they caught hell trying to do it too. But they said, Oh, let's just go ahead and let them do it anyways. It looked fun. This one of these impossible channel ways, maybe one or two people might make it to the fourth bar at all the way at the tippy top and may finish the whole thing. Or you might end up getting close to the end depending on what time. This best one of these impossible channels that can't nobody be unless you got skills and patience and got a good partner. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I feel sorry for y'all. Y'all fate is in the meathead hands. Chorus. Ooh, that must really suck for y'all to know y'all fade in his hands. I mean, literally. He could best pick somebody he don't, or better yet, pick somebody off that he know that he can't be. I feel sorry for y'all. Mistake number one with your power, Corey. You trusting Thomas with your power and bouncing ideas off of him. Worst mistakes ever trusting the big nose bouncer to make your decisions for you or better yet have him actually in the decision making with you. Time out so I'm gonna put a man in um them cause they knew. Well you know what? That ain't kinda a bad idea, Cora. I give you that one. Putting up putting big mouth in there, put horn in there in the jungle. I agree with you with that one. What I won't agree with you are that trusting the big nose bastard decisions. I wouldn't trust nothing coming from that nose of his. I can't agree with what Corey said, some of his decision, but I'm liking his part and I forgot a name. I agree with you. Put two can Sam in there, big nose bastard Tommy. Put him, please put him in there. I'm glad you can say his name. Corey won't say his name because he loyal to the end to Thomas fuck him over, which is probably going to happen probably next episode or down the road. Down the road. So be prepared to get ready to lose your um your faith in two can Sam because he gonna betray you. Watch. Oh my God, Wes, no, please shut the fuck up. Your mouth and your deals get you in trouble every damn time. No. Oh. Wes, I was hoping you was going to make it to the end. Now I know your mouth is to get you in a bunch of word of hurt. Every time you do this, every damn season, you end up going home. Well, Wes, it was good knowing you, buddy. But I know this deal is to go wrong somehow. You is to get fucked over. So, you don't want um, Wes to never say your name. Nani said, I agree with I make sure. Oh, Jesus. This is getting worse and worse. Now he got Nani backing him up. 
Oh dear God bless it. Um where so Where's you finna get fucked up? I hope you realize that. What even is this argument about? I'm confused and up here this list and then wonder what the fuck they arguing about a man or what? Cause I'm confused of what I don't know what, what this about, but okay. <laughs> Oh, so old Corey wasn't willing to take the deal with his homeboy, Scum Thomas. He said he wasn't going to put him in, but he just mentioned his name anyway. It just cost him on at the ass before the elimination and what this is. If that's the case, thank you for doing it, Scum Corey. And thank you, Simone, for opening your mouth. These motherfucking damn twists. Is this why we got a cliffhanger last last episode? Where they can bring somebody back and I guarantee you that for all you the goddamn one. How much you wanna bet? So they brought back Devin and Cheyenne. That should get Corey Libido working up again now that she's back again and get to play with him. Oh Jesus have mercy. I mean we gotta watch him have sex with her. And he gonna kiss her way she... Oh, Jesus. I'm sick. Ah, uh, actually, Simone got a white scar. Now, what you gonna do now, you messy helper? Get her, Simone. If you, you can beat her down, honey. She can't fight. She all mouth and no talk. That water ain't gonna help her none. Jessica, if you make Riley go home because of your ass can't figure that puzzle out, I'm going to kick you in your head. If you don't climb your ass up that thing like Camilla say and figure memorize that puzzle, me and you going to fight. Damn, damn, damn you, Jessica. It was a puzzle. It wasn't that complicated, my dick. Did you really just sit there and fuck up the whole damn puzzle? Then you had to keep going up and down to figure out what you... I knew she was going to fuck it up sooner or later when they were going to go home. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. So Johnny told her to get the fuck away from her. Get the fuck away from him. Now she doing a little um interview crying. Talking about, I'm sorry I let you down. Well, all you had to do was memorize the damn pause. It wasn't that damn hard. It's crazy a man that can Ashley or whatever, or man or whatever her name is. Can remember it that easy. So can you, Judge. I think it was time for you to go home anyways. Because, honey, you wasn't trying hard enough on that portal for you to miss every damn row wrong. That you had to go back and keep going up and down to figure out what you did wrong. Like, how hard was that simple little puzzle? So, Tony had to get his two minutes of fame talking about these girls attractive and who nits on his hit list. Bitch, you ain't do nothing. So, how you got a hit list? What have you done to have a hit list? You mean which ones you gonna hit next? That what you mean to say? Better yet, fuck? Cause I thought all I see is you do, Tony. So don't brag too hard. You might be the next one in line. So the episode ended with Riley and Jessica leaving. Them drinking shots at the bar. And that's the episode. Hopefully the next week episode won't be no darn cliff cliffhanger again. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share, comment, subscribe if you're new to my channel. And yeah, that's about it. I'm going to wrap it on up. So I'll see y'all later. Bye.